Hello and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to do the, the headlights. We've been uh, working on the uh, the front dash panel and the hole in the um, in the cab on the floor um, in previous videos. I will come back to those in um, some next videos. Um, but I thought I'd get on with these headlights because uh, they've been taped up, a masking tape all over them, and they're in a bit of a, a mess. So um, that's going to be the next job because after after doing the um all the plastic work with the, the slurry and everything um the next job after that will be uh fitting the soundproofing um so uh, it seems logical for me to clean the headlights there you go it is a little bit uh cloudy um so well you can't really see this one but you can see this one here um and it seems just a bit opaque um i've actually got a, a kit um to to clean them uh, what, i think it's um what's it called uh, i can't remember the name uh, 3m that's it a 3m kit um which i bought some time ago but i've never really bothered to look at it but um my brother-in-law said to me well use toothpaste no publicity for the toothpaste toothpaste there you go um so we'll give it a try and see what we we end up with it's a very cold day today um so i don't know whether that's going to actually affect anything but uh, we'll see i actually found out something about my the limits of my uh, camera on my telephone uh when filming in selfie mode which is what i'm doing at the moment using the camera on the on the front of the camera uh, if the camera is a certain distance away then suddenly i'm out of focus and overexposed um, yeah, probably not good to be overexposed. Um, but um, you know, I need to I need to be able to see what I'm doing on the camera, and I can't really afford to to buy uh, something like a DJ uh, Osmo camera with the, the screen on the front uh, with high definition and so on. So I'm, I'm using my epoxy uh, Samsung M31. Um, but um, that aside, um, I think that the, the uh, telephone is not too far away so hopefully you're going to see what I'm doing. I've read that you put just a little bit on and uh, you create some big circles on the lamp with the toothpaste and I'm using a slightly moist kitchen sponge obviously not that side this side um, and uh, we'll see how we get on with that. So I think I'll apply it to the, to the sponge otherwise it's going to be a bit messy um, luckily we've got another tube of toothpaste in the bathroom otherwise I'll be screamed out tomorrow morning uh, by the family so the advantages as well before I start um, because they advise you usually when you do this sort of thing on cars to mask off the bodywork well you know I've not got this problem on this van because well the nearest bodywork is here and this here and they don't even touch the lens um, at all the only thing that um, is probably going to get white stuff all over is the rubbers around the, the headlamp but I need to repair uh, this one at some point. I've got some, some really strong double sided tape but uh, the rest of the, the rubbers are not moving so that's all good. So I just need to take care not to get any toothpaste on, on the rubbers but as the lens is this bit here, um, you know, it's quite a, a distance between the two so hopefully we'll be okay. Anyway, let's give this a try. Making some big circles on there. I need a bit more. Oops, hopefully I took the cap off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing because the problem with a, a phone is um, the screen, even though it's fairly big, doesn't give a lot of definition. And uh, I found when I played back footage you have a sort of blurry non-detailed look so so I applied it to that one and what I'll do I'll do the, the other headlamp as well and then I'll start doing the the action with the small ones I think what I'll do is I'll use one side to apply and then the other side to try to take it off um, yeah we'll do that 
So I brought you in a bit closer so you can actually see more or less what I'm, I'm doing. That means you can't see me, which is probably a good thing. You can just see what I'm actually doing, which is the object of the video. It's not to see me, my beardy glory on the screen. So yeah, I'll just drop the sponge on the ground. So that's not really very helpful. So let's go, let's see what we do. So making big circles with dirty marks from the ground. Oh, it smells nice. Put a bit more on. Again, I've not taken the cup off. and put it back on again. Chunta, 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 which is how it sounds probably to you. So we'll just do the last bit there. Do the edges, all around the edges, up. And then we'll see what that does. So I probably should have got probably another sponge because this has got now got toothpaste all over it. Well, all over it, it's on one side of it. But uh, we'll see what happens. So, especially small actions. I think I'm going to have to go and get another sponge actually after. So it's sort of rubbing, oops, got some over the edge. So it's rubbing off a little bit of it. Try to take the stuff off around the edge without getting it on the rubbers. So I'm going to continue to do that. Small swirly things all over the headlamp. And then we'll come back when I've got a bit further along the line with it. So that's, I suppose, one down so far and another to go. So I'm just doing the little circles around it. And if you can see there, it's starting to sort of come off the headlamp a little bit. But, you know, I've, I've been doing that for about five minutes and uh, I think probably five minutes is enough. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll use some, I don't think I'll use water to clean it off. I've got some sort of bathroom cleaner spray stuff. I'll spray that on and wipe it off with some, some paper tissue or something like that. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. So I just realised that uh, having left this one to dry a little bit for five minutes is actually coming off, it's, it's obviously a bit drier and it's coming off uh, easier than the other one, the other lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one like this and then I'll probably give the other one another going over and we'll see how we go. So apologies in advance for the sound because I just realised that I've not plugged in my external mic and well the phone isn't very far away from me so hopefully the sound will be okay there's not really any background noise apart from birds so we should be all right uh hopefully uh, it's these things that you learn um because uh a bit back um i didn't use my external mic and it sounded horrible so i've alternated doing like uh, i don't know three minutes a few minutes on each headlamp so I've done that sort of twice on each headlamp and that's the result. So I'll bring you in a bit closer if I can. Trouble is the front protection bars in the way. So there we go. So it's gone a little bit dry and uh, hopefully um, I've given it enough elbow grease for it to be effective. So what I'm going to do now is going to get the um, bathroom cleaner um probably should just use water but um you know i just thought it's easier i use the bathroom cleaner to clean all all this bit here sorry for the shaky camera um this is all covered in, in oil and it's all nice and clean so it's perfect so yeah i'm going to do the same thing so uh bathroom cleaner is just behind me up oh, there we go i haven't got much left actually it's a bit empty um, I'm not doing product placement by the way, I know I've used a certain brand of toothpaste, I'm using a certain brand of bathroom cleaner, but um, think of it as you will, it's not advertising. I'm not endorsing these products for um, 
renovating my van. So I'll give this a quick squirt. I'll just bring you back again. There we go. I think it actually looks a bit better. It's still a bit yellow, but it looks better than it did. I just realised there's some, some scratches on the plastic and there's two drips here. I'm not sure what they are, but it's probably a little bit better than it was. You have to remember that this van is 10 years old and it was used a lot by a, a bakery uh, in Paris, well, just on the, the edge of Paris. And I'm not sure that they replaced the headlamps during the seven years they owned it. Um, so this is probably the first time the headlamps have been cleaned properly. Uh, enough of my waffle, I'll just give you a quick look at how this looks. Now it's a bit drier. Yeah, it's still a bit of... Hmm. I think I'll have to use the kit on it, but it will do for now. Um, if you can just have a look. It is a little bit better. I wouldn't say it's perfect. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. So I'll just go and do the. Come back up here. Hello. I'll just go and do the, the other headlamp and then we'll see what that looks like. And so here we have a before and after comparison. The top one being the before. You can see that um, it really needs the kit to be used on it because it's ingrained you know on the in the kit i'll go and get it in a minute so you can have a look and, and see what it looks like but uh, on on the kit um you've got some sort of very very fine sandpaper and it's sort of wet and dry you know you'd spray the headlamp with water and use the sandpaper basically to take the top coat of plastic off uh, and obviously toothpaste doesn't do that toothpaste just i suppose it's got micro granules in which help to to get rid of the opaqueness the yellow but uh, I think uh, I can live with that until I, I do the proper job you know it's just a case of seeing how it would look because people had told me about it in fact I, I quite like this job so I'm sitting down for the whole thing it's wonderful anyway I'll go and get the the kit so you can have a look at that so with the magic of YouTube there's the kit. It's a 3M kit I bought. I probably bought it two, probably three years ago. Um, I didn't. It wasn't long after I bought the van that I, I bought it. So, yeah, you've got. Um, well, it's, you've got a, a thing for the, for your, your drill. Um, the end of it's there. So it's real, sort of like proper stuff. Sand, remove yellow layer. Well, there's still a bit of yellow layer there. Refine, refine or reduce scratches. There's plenty of scratches on there, especially at the bottom of the, the headlamp. Um, polished for clarity and shine. So yeah, we'll, we'll give that a try next year when the weather's a lot better. I think pretty soon I'm gonna to have to give the whole thing a good clean because you can see that uh, it really isn't very good. Um, we've got the old sort of resin I think it is from the trees that's attacking me the plastic um, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this and then revarnish it all uh, it's something I need to do probably next year um, especially because the top is awful and it's a pain to clean the top because uh, it's actually quite high um, so <laughs> believe it's not for a little van and uh, getting your hand or arm rather across right across the top to in the middle is a pain but uh, that's something else I'm gonna have to do even the the bonnet is a little bit grubby so yeah another new job to do apart from the uh, the plastic work that I need to get on with so I think we'll leave it there so thank you so much for watching have a great time watching YouTube and I'll see you in another video take care of yourselves bye
bien dans mon insonne. Au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne. 